back to the uh, second video on uh, series of Euler's formula and the concept of phases. Um, so we are supposed to discuss the Euler's formula in this video, um, but before we jump to the Euler's formula, let me take one more example um, for this uh, polar to Cartesian conversion. Okay, so that we can relate with the Euler's formula better. So um, what I'll try to do is now I have taken angle 45. So last time we saw that well, if I have r equals to one, that is the length of my this vector equals to one. And if my angle is 45 degrees, then the projection of um, both of them will be projected. The projection value will be 0 0.707, right? It's 0 0.707. Or you can say it's square root of 2 and square root of 2. Fine. This is perfectly fine. Um, let me take one more example and try to see what happens um, when I change this angle. Okay. So in this example, let's take r equals to 1. And let's take theta equals to 30 degrees okay and 30 degrees is equal to I think it is equal to pi by 6 okay in terms of radians okay so in 20 degrees it is 30 and in radians it is pi by 6 and let us try to see how the projection is going to look like okay and the reason why I'm taking this example is because um, this will form the basis of how the projection behaves okay when you change the angle okay so um, so I'll draw another axis here so let us say a small axis I'll have. So this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis, right? Horizontal and the vertical. And 30 degrees, right? 30 degrees is my angle. So I have a vector. And let us say this guy is 30 degrees. Okay, and this r length is equal to 1. It is unit length. Okay, this point is 0. And this is the length equals to 1. Now, if you see here, I mean, if you see visually, right, when you try to project this guy, you will see that the projection value um, on the horizontal axis, and if I try to project this guy on the vertical axis, so let me try to project this guy on the vertical axis, like this. So can you see the difference? There is a small difference now. You can notice the difference. Um, see these two projections. Can you see any difference here? That um, the x projection has a larger value compared to the y projection okay and that is the point which I wanted to um, highlight is, uh, is that as the angle of the vector is closer to the horizontal axis right so when I try to project it in this direction the um, the projection value will be higher in the horizontal dimension okay and the projection value will be lower in the vertical dimension so if you try to project this vector in the vertical direction here so as this angle becomes smaller and smaller, so if it is 0 degrees or 1 degrees or 2 degrees, you will see that the effect of the y component will be very less compared to the x component. And the same thing is true the other way around. So we'll take third example and try to examine. Okay, so let us see in Octave um, what are the values of those coordinates and then we'll try to relate. Okay, so I'll open the Octave console back again. So, okay, this was our last um, uh, example, right? So what we'll do is um, I'll just uh, use my history and uh, I'll make this guy as pi by 6. Okay, pi by 6. Pi by 6 is 30 degrees. So what I'm saying here is I have the vector, right? Its length is 1. Its angle is pi by 6 with respect to the horizontal dimension. Ignore the 0. And if I try to run this guy, this is what I'm getting. So what it is trying to say... Um, this is polar to Cartesian, right? So you will see that this is my x projection, this is my y projection, this is my z. So I am in two dimensions, I, I will just ignore this guy. And you will see that this is 0 0.86 and this is 0 0.5. Okay, the vertical projection is only 0 0.5, this is 0 0.6. Now as I keep increasing, as I keep increasing the dimensions, then in that case, as I keep increasing the dimensions, um, we'll see that the component x is going to have higher the higher values. Um, so increase in the dimension means the projection in the x dimension. Okay, what I'm trying to mean is, okay, so let's make this angle smaller and smaller. Okay, um, let me make this uh, just pi by six. Now let's make it as pi by twelve. Okay, so pi by twelve. You see this? This is 0 0.96 and this is only 0 0.25. So what is pi by twelve? Um, well, let's see. What is pi by 12? Pi by 12 times 180 divided by pi. 
that is equal to 15 degrees so before it was 13 degrees right so 13 degrees gave me 13 degrees gave me the projection on the horizontal axis as 0.86 okay and the vertical axis was 0.5 when I reduced the angle I made it 15 degrees then it gave me 0 0.96 0 0.96 is almost equal to 1 right and this is 0.25 let me reduce it even further let me reduce it even further and let's see um, let's make it pi by 24 okay just for fun let's see um, if I make it pi by 24 then what happens you see this it's 0 0.9914 and this guy is 0 0.13 so the projection in the vertical dimension is becoming smaller and smaller the horizontal dimension has almost become equal to 1 what happens if I make it 0 if I make it 0 then what okay let's see it's 0 it's 1 0 and 0 1 0 and 0 x is 1 y is 0 and z we can ignore the z so what it means we can try to relate this now okay um, okay I cannot fit both them in the same window um, okay let's get rid of this so um, what we saw is what we saw is um, if I try to project this guy further down okay if I reduce the angle here if I reduce this angle so I'll change the color okay, let's try this one um, if I keep reducing the angle here okay keep reducing the angle of the uh, of your vector and if you try to project it in the horizontal dimension then this guy okay this guy is going to increase this guy is going to increase in length okay, we'll take the projection it's not too much visible here um, because it is not up to the scale but uh, as you try to project so when this vector is sitting like completely horizontal where angle is zero then its length the horizontal projection length is equal to one okay and the vertical projection doesn't have anything okay when you try to project a horizontal vector in here it doesn't have anything here right now let us see the other case let us see the other case um, let's take third example and uh, let us try to project the vector um, in the vertical dimension so I'll take the third example and let us try to do the same thing here so now my vector now my vector is at this angle okay and let us call this as 60 degrees okay to start with let's call this thing as 60 degrees so r is equal to 1 and theta is equal to 60 degrees and 60 degrees is equal to how many radians hmm 60 degrees is equal to how many radians is it uh, pi by 4 so pi by 3 I think it is pi by 3 okay it is pi by 3 because pi is 180 degrees divided by 3 that makes 60 right so now if you try to project this guy in the vertical dimension we can see the projection value the vertical projection increases the dimension of the vertical projection is going to go high okay so if I'm trying to project this guy here then the projection value has increased right but if I try to project this guy here if you see the X projection has become smaller and smaller and as you keep increasing so from 60 then if you make it let's say you're making it 80 okay you make it 80 and then you make it 90 and as you keep going in this direction you will see that the, uh, the value increases okay the y value increases and x value becomes smaller and smaller x value becomes smaller and smaller projection of x value becomes smaller and smaller and the way it becomes smaller the way the rule that we will check after when we uh, examine the Euler's formula okay so let us see um, the same concept in octave and let us try to relate what we have discussed so far so okay this is my octave console so so far what I have done um, I was making the angle smaller and smaller right the horizontal angle now let's make it bigger so first of all let's start off with um, pi by 3 pi by 3 okay that is 60 degrees so I have a vector which is inclined at 60 degrees from the horizontal and now let us see do you see the shift you see the shift now x has become 0.5 and y has increased okay now let me increase the angle further let me make it pi by 3 okay um, pi by 3 I have to make it smaller so let me make it as pi by uh, how much let's take pi by 2.5 okay pi by 2.5 now you see the projection on y dimension is increasing slowly and x dimension is going slow smaller and smaller right now let's make it pi by 
let's make it pi by 2 that is 90 degrees okay let's make it pi by 2 and you see that now there's no projection in the horizontal dimension you have a projection on the y-axis okay now so I suppose now it is clear to you that well if you keep manipulating with this vector and if you move if you move in either of the directions then the projections in the horizontal and the vertical dimension changes okay so I think now we are ready with the Euler's formula and um, we can try to relate um, how the Euler's formula is um, making sense with represent to this polar to Cartesian coordinate system okay um, I think it would be best if we uh, do this in the next video so I will uh, see you in the next video